Hi, my name is Selma Benawen. I've been teaching the 0478 Cambridge IGCSC Computer Science for the last four years, and here's the first video about Chapter 1. So we're going to start talking about number systems. There are five parts to this video. First, we're going to talk about the denary number system, then the binary number system. We're going to look at a convergent table. Then we're going to look at how to convert a binary number to denary, and finally, how to convert a denary number to binary. Denary number system. Humans have 10 fingers and 10 toes. Therefore, the denary number system is base 10. Base 10 means that the denary number system has 10 distinct digits. Those digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's look at an example of how the denary number system works. Here is the number 168 in base 10. Base 10 means we have 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, and 10 to the power of 2. Now we all know that 10 to the power of 0 is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is 1. 10 to the power of 1 is simply 10, and 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So in the denary number system, if I say I have 168, that means I have 8 1s, 6 10s, and 1 100s. Now that we've looked at how denary numbers are represented, let's have a look at the binary number system. Computers, unlike humans, have two states, either on or off. Either electricity is flowing through the wire, so that's on, or there's no electricity flowing through the wire, so it's off, a zero. Therefore, the binary number system is base 2. Base 2 means the binary number system has two distinct digits. They are 0 and 1. In the binary number system, everything is represented with a base of 2. So 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5. Okay, We all know that 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Now let's say we had this example 101101 in base 2. This example simply means we have 1 1s, we have 1 4, we have 1 8, and we have 1 32 if we're talking denary. I know things might seem a little confusing, but once we get to converting, it will make more sense. Let's just recap the few things we looked at today. So the denary or the decimal number system is understood by humans and it's base 10. The binary number system is understood by computers and it's base 2. The denary number system has 10 distinct digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the binary number system has two distinct digits, they are 0 and 1. Did you know that a number can be represented in denary and that same number also has a binary representation? It also actually has a representation in base 8, base 5. You can write any kind of number system. Typically though, humans use denary, which is base 10, and computers use binary, which is base 2. We're going to look at a convergent table to convert the denary numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to their binary equivalents. So if we're representing the denary number 0 by a nibble, which is 4 bits, it will be simply 4 zeros. A 0 at the 1's place, a 0 at the 2's place, a 0 at the 4's place, and a 0 at the 8's place. If we're going to represent the denary number 1, we're going to have 1, 1. A denary number 2 is represented by 0, 1 in binary. Denary number 3 is represented by 1, 1 in binary. Denary number 4 is represented by 0, 0, 1. 5 is 1, 0, 1. 6 is 0, 1, 1. 7 is 1, 1, 1. How do we know that 7 is represented by 1, 1, 1? Well, 7 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4. What do you think 8 in denary is represented by in binary? You're right, it's represented by 0, 0, 0, 1. 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. 10 is 0, 1, 0, 1. 11 is 1, 1, 0, 1. 12 is 0, 0, 1, 1. 
13 is 1011, 14 is 0111, and finally 15 is 1111. It's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. For IGCSC computer science, you need to know how to convert one byte of a binary number into a denary number. Let's take this example. I'm reading the numbers from the right to the left. So the number is 10110010. Let's find out what this is equal to in denary. Step one is we need to write the binary number line also from right to left. Here's the binary number line. Say it after me. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Now, of course, you remember where I got the binary number line. It's base 2. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, and 2 to the power of 7 is 128. After we've written the binary number line on top of our question, it's time to multiply the values from the number line by the 1 or 0 accordingly. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 0 times 2 is still 1, plus 1 times 4, plus 1 times 8, plus 0 times 16, plus 0 times 32, plus 1 times 64, plus 0 times 128, and that gives us a grand total of 77. That means that 10110010 in binary is equivalent to 77 in denary. Now we've come to the last bit of our presentation. We're going to look at an example of how to convert a denary number into its binary equivalent. So take the number 140 in denary in base 10. So step one is the same. We're going to write the binary number line. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now it's time to find the number line numbers which add up to the denary number. So we're looking for which of these binary number line numbers, when I add them, I'm going to get 140. Here's how we do it. We check. Is 128 less than or equal to 140? Does it fit in 140? The answer is yes. So I'm going to put a 1 under the 128, and now I'm going to subtract 140 minus 128. I'm left with 12. Now I'm going to look at the next number in the number line 64. Is 64 less than 12? No. So I'm simply going to put a 0 and move on to the next number. I'm looking at 32. Is 32 less than 12? No. So I'm simply going to put a 0 for the 32 and move on to the next number. Is 16 less than or equal to 12? No. Simply going to put a 0 at the 16 and move on to the next number. What about 8? Is 8 less than or equal to 12? Yes. So we're going to put a 1 under the 8, and we're going to subtract 12 minus 8. I'm left with 4. Move on to the next number. Is 4 less than or equal to 4? Yes. So I'm going to put a 1, and then I'm going to move on to the next number. I'm going to subtract 4 minus 4 is 0, and check the next number if it's a component of 0. Is 2 less than or equal to 0? No. So I'm going to put a 0 there. Is 1 less than or equal to 0? No, so I'm going to put a 0 there. Now I've successfully converted from the denary number 140 to its binary equivalent. Reading the binary equivalent from right to left, it's 00110001. Step 4, it's time to check your work. You want to be 100% correct that you converted properly. So in order to check our work, we're going to follow the steps for converting from binary to denary. I'm going to multiply each of the binary digits by its binary number line weight and add it together. So 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, plus 1 times 4, plus 1 times 8, plus 0 times 16, plus 0 times 32, plus 0 times 64, plus 1 times 128, and we have the total of 140. Good job! Let's have a look at a past paper question dealing with these convergence from binary to denary and from denary to binary. We have a register in a computer that contains these binary digits 11101100. How do we translate it to denary? You can look at the right. The first step is done. I wrote the number line for the two for the binary number line 12481632641128. 
Now we add all the numbers that have a 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 1, plus 4 times 1, plus 0 times 8, plus 16 times 1, plus 32 times 1, plus 0 times 64, plus 0 times 128, and that gives us a total of 55. So we finished part A. Let's look at part B. Part B says, suppose this register, the contents of this register, represents the ASCII value for the digit 7. We want you to figure out what would be the ASCII value for the digit 9 and write your answer in binary as well as denary. Well, if we look at the ASCII of 7, the last three digits or the last four digits, the last nibble, are representing the number 7. So that means if I was going to have a register holding the ASCII value of 8, then the last nibble would be the number 8, 1000. Also, if I was going to have a register holding the ASCII value of 9, that means the last nibble or the last four digits would hold 1001, which is 9. It's also easy to figure out that 7 is represented by 55, meaning 8 is represented by 56, and finally 9 is represented by 57 in denary. I'd love to see your solution to part C, and we're going to learn 